All right, now it's time for the show to begin. Time to watch a show. Any second now. The show's gonna begin. A dark stage, and then a beam of light. The music starts. The lights come up. The praises of imagination are sung. And then... Mickey Mouse appears, and the crowd goes absolutely wild! Guys, it's Mickey! At a Disney park! I can't believe it! Mickey raises a particularly phallic stream of water. Are you still on that sex dream kick? You just refuse to see the truth, you escapist lemming. Also, Sex Dream Kick is my Katy Perry cover band. California girls were indestructible, daisy ducks and something on top. Anyway, Mickey dances around the stage like nobody's watching and shoots fire out of his fingertips! God, Surely he is the father of all lies! Mickey continues to part the Red Seas for a while. Which side is he on, man? Then he dreams of... himself? being projected onto the water he raised. Yes, here's that water screen technique, the reason this show exists. Later perfected for World of Color. I have to say, this water screen thing is really clever, and it's really neat to see scenes from classic Disney movies this way. Oh, what even the hell, Gansel? First you complain that Voyage of the Little Mermaid has too much recycled footage, now you praise Fantasmic for its recycled footage? Calm down, Mickey McNitpick. First off, are you really comparing Little Mermaid to this? Little Mermaid advertises itself as a live performance of the story, and then uses clips from the movie as an excuse to not tell the story live. This is recontextualizing the clips to tell a new story, thin as it may be. And yes, by the end of the show they may overdo it with the recycled animation here, too. But the water screens are at least far more interesting than an ordinary movie screen on a stage. Plus, they're complementing the live footage with fireworks and water splashes synced to the scene, making it way more engaging. I'm about to blow the lid off this whole thing! You were just arguing with Mickey Mouse, even though a minute ago you two were excited to see each other. How do you account for Mickey's rapid change of personality? Oh, kid, I haven't had a day off since 1928. I'm on so many drugs, I don't know which of the seven dwarves I'll be on any given day. Uh, go away, Grumpy Mickey. We need to talk about the show that stars Happy Mickey. 